Every fish likes to be cleaned and cleaning stations belong to highly frequented areas in the seas. But there's one very special place in the Pacific Ocean where you find a cleaning station that definitely breaks the mold. The name of the place is Malpelo. This Colombian nature reserve is mostly visited by thousands of seabirds and by some experienced scuba divers coming from all over the world. They find a prolific and pristine underwater life at the teeming reefs around this rocky island. In particular, the fauna is truly abundant. Some fish encounters are almost hard to believe. These leather bases approach divers without hesitation, but for very special reasons. They arrive for getting touched by some of the divers' exhaled air bubbles, standing still right above the open regulators, opening their jaws. It seems as if they are enjoying a small snack of air or a kind of massage, or at least it looks like this. This guy, however, doesn't move too much, a big scorpion fish. Malpelo's famous moorie eels not only stay in their crevices, they actually move around, making friendly approaches to human friends. Like at Tres Mosqueteros or La Gringa, many caves and tunnels exist all around the island, home of resident schooling fish. Eagle rays are also common, sometimes forming bigger squadrons. Here, they are passing one of many buoys that have been installed by biologists. The main goal, monitoring tagged hammerhead sharks and their movements. At Virginia's altar, you can see many of them. Adults swimming with juveniles, big single individuals, and bigger groups passing over the sandy floor at 30 meters. And watch out, because at this dive site, the sharks may arrive from any possible direction. The hammerhead sharks have good reasons to frequent places like La Nivera or Virginia's altar. Because here they do not only find strange human visitors, first of all, the sharks meet helpful cleaning fish. Angelfish will clean the sharks, sometimes waiting for them in small groups. As soon as the predators arrive, the angelfish start doing their job. In that very moment, you can see the sharks falling into a short moment of immobility. Near at hand, a group of big amberjacks has found their very own cleaning station. The jacks start circling over the group of cleaning grasses. And very soon, the small yellowfish start releasing their clients from nasty parasites. Okay, that's life at cleaning stations as we may already know from many other places around the world. But what about all these other big shoals of fish that you find at places like Virginia's altar? Leather bases show up in hundreds of specimens. And the grunts arrive in thousands, assembling very close to surface. Very often, they are accompanied by schooling barracudas in huge groups of similar size. The question arises, 
Does nature provide cleansings for these kind of schooling fish as well? There may be an answer to it right in the neighborhood. But first, it's time for refilling the empty bottles. And time for enjoying warm sunlight on your liverboard. Before you visit a newly discovered dive site belonging to the well-known area of Tres Mosquiteros. Here, a small sea mount arises from 35 to 50 meters. Residents of hundreds of yellow barber fish. Most of their daily lives, the barberfish stay close to their rocky habitat. But that changes when potential clients arrive. In this case, a big school of rainbow runners. Now, like a huge yellow wave, the barberfish move out. Mixing up with the incoming school of rainbow runners, and right at once, they start their work, cleaning. Like the hammerhead sharks, also these jackfish don't move too much, being surrounded by several cleaning fish at the same time. Many amazing things to watch indeed. Divers may find it difficult to focus on one action only. A very special moment, the diver is actually kept inside a cleaning station. giant cleaning station. Even experienced divers, who have seen many other exciting places around the world, will remember this place for a long time after. At the island of Malpelo, remote part of Colombia.